How to get rid of calluses. Calluses are parts of the skin that have become toughened and thick due to constant pressure and contact. For some people, having calloused skin, especially on the hands or areas that are frequently touched by others, can make one very self-conscious. It's not that calluses are a cause of embarrassment, it's just that with today's standard of beauty, having soft skin, especially for women, is a must. Since calluses are formed due to constant contact with something, most people develop calluses on the hands and the feet. People whose jobs or hobbies frequently involve hand or feet activity are particularly susceptible to calluses. For example, guitarists develop calluses on the fingers of their playing hand due to pressure and constant contact with the guitar strings. Weightlifters and construction workers have calluses on their palms due to the constant handling of heavy materials and equipment. Even with protective gloves, constant heavy activity results in calluses on the affected area. Even video gamers develop calluses on their thumbs due to the constant pushing of the buttons. Calluses also develop on the sides of their pointer fingers if they're using non-ergonomic controller pads. Calluses are not really harmful to you. They're quite the opposite, actually. Calluses are the body's way of defending your skin against the pressure and friction that is subjected to it. Without calluses, your body would be prone to lacerations and infection. Think how uncomfortable and painful it would be to have the soles of your feet shredded every time you run or you grimace in pain every time you lift rough, heavy objects. The calluses are there to protect you by toughening you up. If you still want to soften your skin and eliminate those calluses, you can try several methods to get rid of them. Wear comfortable shoes and footwear. Shoes that do not restrict your feet or pack them up like sardines are, by far, the best way to get rid of those calluses. Tight or poorly fitted shoes tend to cause your toes to rub against each other, creating friction and, you guessed it, calluses. Tight shoes also restrict the movements inside the shoe when you walk, putting your feet in constant contact with the sole. A shoe with a comfortable fit allows your foot breathing space, so to speak. Choose shoes with a soft insole, preferably one that allows you to dig in when you step on them. Pressure will be lessened when you do so and there won't be much friction, either. Good foot padding will go a long way in treating your calluses. The calluses may take a while to disappear, so if you don't see any effect right away, don't lose hope. As an aside, your foot will less likely develop any structural issues like hamartos or bunions if you wear comfortable shoes. While this is usually a consideration targeted to women who wear ill-fitting high heels, men who wear boots that are not well adjusted are in danger of developing structural foot problems as well. Wear gloves or other padded protection when working with your hands and knees. Construction workers are especially susceptible to thick and hardened calluses due to the nature of their job. Wearing padded gloves with a comfortable fit will alleviate and lessen the problem of developing calluses. Make sure that the gloves fit well. Very loose gloves will do the opposite and irritate your skin more through the constant friction they produce. Also, choose a glove that is durable and does not tear easily. Nothing is more annoying than having one part of your palm exposed. It might do more than just give you calluses. It might blister your hand instead. If your job entails having to kneel down all the time, proper padding placed on the knees will help reduce or get rid of the calluses that usually form in that area. Regularly soak and scrub your feet. Soaking your feet in a solution for about 10 minutes per day and then scrubbing them with a pumice stone is a common and effective way of getting rid of your foot calluses. A common solution is Epsom salts, vinegar and salicylic acid mixed with warm water. Pumice stones can be bought at any pharmacy or drugstore that sells foot pads or pedicure items. They are abrasives that are perfect for removing dry or dead skin from the bottom of the foot. If you have diabetes, however, be careful when scrubbing your foot or, to be on the safe side, don't scrub them at all. Just use a rough towel to remove the excess skin. It might take more time, but you will not risk cutting your skin and getting an infection. Always be on the safe side of things. Use aspirin to soften your calluses. 
Crush five or six tablets of aspirin and mix them with one half teaspoon of lemon juice and water. Apply the resulting paste to the affected area, then wrap it with a warm towel and cover it with a plastic bag. Leave it for about 10 minutes and then remove the coverings. Scrape off the calluses with a pumice stone. Again, if you're diabetic, don't try this treatment. Also, if you're allergic to aspirin, do not use this method. Try a walk on the beach. Aside from looking romantic, walking on the beach can actually help you get rid of your calluses. According to Robert Diamond, PDM, a podiatrist from Pennsylvania, the sand acts as natural pumice stone and scrapes away the calluses. Use moisturizers regularly on your calluses. There are a lot of skincare moisturizers out there that help soften the skin and get rid of calluses. There are even skin creams and moisturizers that are specially made to treat and combat calluses. If you're looking for one, it is suggested that you look for a moisturizer with lactic acid or urea. Alpha hydroxy acids are especially good for dry skin. For men who are afraid that moisturizers will make them less manly, fear not. There are moisturizers available on the market now that were manufactured mainly with the male species in mind. They do not smell feminine and they are packaged and advertised in such a way that you won't look like a sissy when buying it. Taking care of calluses does not require a thorough and scientific approach. The main point is to soften the skin and not add any undue pressure to it. However, as mentioned earlier, calluses actually help the body. If the calluses are the result of something much more severe like bone spurs, though, seek a physician's help immediately. Never ever try to fix anything more difficult than a simple callus at home.